right, perfect. Here we go. Okay, so we have Simone starting as the first server and That's Lucy. It. So I'm going to see whether they're We'll see who sets the tone early. Oh, yeah. And I, well, well, Lucy's going to set the tone early with a big <laughs> forehand right down the middle. And a quick side out. Zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. Nice little drive drop action here. And she's in. And that ball going to sail a little Four. wide. Good rally there. I would honestly, I think, oh, so we see Lucy and Irina are stacking, so they're going to put Irina on the ad court for now. I would expect to see Irina and Jesse doing a fair amount of dinking cross court. I mean, most players want to avoid Simone, and most players also want to go cross court, so I think that's what we're mainly going to see. Ooh, that's a great counter from Lucy. What I really love about that is she was sitting on the backhand just because she knew it was going to be so hard for Jesse to redirect that ball back down the line to her forehand. So great read by Lucy there. And we're going to see 2 zero, one now. And Jesse sitting on that forehand, ready to just punish it. Uh, it looked like Lucy even read it back. She had the old 1-2 going, the uh, attack looking for it right back at her, but not quite on it. Looked like a good swing to me. Though. Great pickup. And Simone just staying steady. Yeah, what I really liked there, actually, in that point was Irene had a great drop, but then Jesse chose to kind of take a little half volley and keep it in the kitchen, what I call Zero conceding the net, recognized that it was such a good drop that she had to let her opponents in. Nice drop there. Point. And that's going to be a point. Okay, and we see Simone and Jesse here playing straight up, meaning they are going to be switching sides and not putting either player on a particular side one for now. One. I think we'd expect to see that more because of the new partnership, and they're not really sure what to do yet, so they're kind of just feeling it out. Well, as we know, pickleball is made of patterns, percentages, and adjustments. So sure. we'll have to see as we continue on if they, ever, if they make any changes. And one, Jesse two, to serve here. One, two, two, early on in game one. Great reset from Simone. And a, uh, a shocker, right, to see Simone do such a great reset. <laughs> <laughs> she's amazing it's at those, like she's obviously. It's not like she's the best in the game at that or anything. <laughs> right. Two, two, two. Nice drop there from Jesse. Pulling Irene out wide. Mm. It's a really nice set by Jesse, pulling Irina out wide where she was forced to go to Simone, and then Simone had an attackable ball because of that. Ooh, a little ball. bit of confusion. Rough. So like, what I like from Simone there is it was a great return, and she chose to ha kind of had a more lofty, consistent drop just because she was in an awkward position off that return. And good eye there by Jesse Irvine getting into a little firefight there with uh, Heads Irina Tereshenko. Yeah. Heads up play there, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. Straight out of the Mills Miller handbook. <laughs> That's it. And you can see Irina and Lucy reverse stacking now and switching on the return. And big forehand coming. Well, that's great scrappy play from Lucy. Got away with a little bit of a high ball there. I like that decision from Lucy. It was it, it was there, you know. She had the deception. It was a little bit of a high ball, and she could put Jesse in an awkward position, but just missed it. And a quick lead here now. We have 6-2-2 two, two all of a sudden. Another great eye there. Good exchange. And Lucy Kovalova, 
coming up a little strong on that, but mm -hmm. good eye by Simone, of course. The the eyes right now are really the big thing right now. They're letting a lot of balls go, and that's that's hugely important, especially when it's like dry weather here, where letting the ball go is one of the biggest parts of the game. That's it, and obviously, guys, I want to make sure that we know a quick timeout here, and obviously they only get one timeout, Ben, so these guys are going to actually take their one timeout, and obviously that's going to be sponsored by Jigsaw Health which is it our is official fun hydration. To feel That's good. right. It's always fun to feel good with Jigsaw Health, the official hydration of this, and uh, getting some Electrolyte Supreme and Pickleball Cocktail in their system. And obviously, we're going to be cutting to, to some replays throughout this that you're going to see, which is great, uh, which is also going to be brought to you by Pickleball Cocktail. So a big lead now all of a sudden in game one by Simone Jarjim and Jesse Irvine against Irina Tereschenko and Lucy Kovalovo. We'll see if they can make a change here. And time in, says Ron Ponder, 7-2-2. Again, the great leave. And the Ernie was a good decision there, but just a good leave by Jesse and Simone. And now 8-2-2. A big serve. That was a very big serve and kind of hard to handle. So Irina pushes that ball a little wide on the return and a free point coming to Simone and Jesse. And now 9 2 2. And there was the defense by Simone and Jesse just coming up a little short there. And Simone, Simone saying, My bad, as she knew she left that ball a little high. What a streak. Nine points in a row, was it? <laughs> it was. Come on! The tricky play of Irina Tereschenko is read perfectly there by Jesse Irvine. And again, you can see Jesse was sitting on the back end there because she could see based on the ball position, it was going to be hard to get it over to her forehand and keep the ball in. So great read by Jesse there. And a great counter, too. And that's going to be right off the hand of Jesse Irvine and curled into the cross-court corner right in the kitchen. I mean, that's, that's... What's the saying? Better to be lucky than good? Absolutely. Apparently. In this case, it's both. <laughs> that's both, yeah, apparently. And we're going to have a side out now at 9 2 one You know, what I find interesting up here is we're at a little bit of an elevation and in a dry climate, so attackable balls that may seem attackable aren't really as much here just because the ball's flying so much. So it's very important to attack smart balls and let the ball go on not-so-smart attacks. Do you think that affects some of these players, Ben, that have come into this? And obviously, you know, we've been playing here for a couple of days now. And mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I saw the ball fly quite a bit. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Especially those coming from more humid climates that aren't used to either elevation or uh, dry climates or both. Yes, it's going to be a little bit of an adaptation to attack definitely more smart, higher balls. And you're not going to be able to bring the ball down as easily. So, uh, yeah, you just got to be more careful, a little more conservative. And that can really make players tighten up, too. So we're going to see how the players respond to this uh, environment. Yeah, a little bit of calibration in order. And uh, obviously, we're at 3-9-1. And going to the second server now is Irina Tereschenko at 3-9-2. 3-9-2. And Irina hitting the top of the net there. And another side out coming for Jesse and Simone to see if they can close out this first game. They're at 9 3 1. Point. And there's a point and a time. And Irina wanting to call a timeout, but now realizing <laughs> you only get one. We are used so to two timeouts a game, but we are in a little bit of a time constraint here, so. We went with the uh, win by one games and one timeout per game, which is also another little bit of an adaptation for these players. And during that, that there goes game one to Jesse and Simone taking it 11-3. Uh, convincingly 11-3 at that. I think Jesse came out and played uh, great pickleball. Simone kind of being moral support there, resetting and playing her defense and really setting up. I think this is going to be our most successful launch ever. I'm really excited. Hey, everybody, I have your coffee. Awesome. There you go, boss. Ben, mine was supposed to be iced. I asked for soy milk, 
I ordered a nine shot, one pump mocha, non-fat, no whip with exactly four shakes of cinnamon. This is only three. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I can fix this. Let me just get these back. You should probably stick to pickleball. Mine's plain water. All right, guys, we're back after that quick commercial that we wanted to make sure we got in there uh, featuring Jigsaw Health and uh, Johnny Pickleball here with Ben Johns. And we're going to go to game two after Lucy and Irina dropping the first game 11-3. So we're going to see if they can make some adjustments. And But that's just going to be Oof, too tough by yeah. Jesse to come out with a swing. And she's yeah. playing great right now. Jesse's playing the, amazing yes, pickleball. Yes, I think she's doing a really good job of reading the attacks that are coming at her. Well. And... Uh, especially the placement, so she's able to get a good counter, a good big swing in, and uh, place it well after that, too. That's a great shot from Simone, but honestly, I feel like Simone and Lucy had the right idea there. They've been pulling the trigger, I, I'd say, a little preemptively, and I think, feel like it's smarter to just wait for a, a slightly more attackable ball, which is tough with these two, but it's probably the best play. Good leave there. Once again, dry climate, the ball's going to fly a little bit, so you really got to be careful with these balls that are close to going out because they're usually going to fly. Yeah, all players just kind of calibrating a little bit, maybe except for Callie Smith, who's from Utah, yeah. and Tyler Loon, obviously, going to be from Utah as well as we have some local legends. Oh, yeah. And Callie played a great match in that uh, first match with Corinne. Nice close match. A lot of great playing from her. And getting Irina off the line there, coming up short with that shot. It's it's really tough once you get pulled off the line. They're doing a great job of moving the ball around. 2-0-2. Is Simone and Jesse, and we're at 2-0-2. Two, 2-0-2. Zero, two. Two, zero, two. Nice. And so good what exchange. I, yeah, what I like there is Irina and Lucy were up at the line, oh, yeah. and they knew to keep pressing just because Simone and Lucy were a couple Where's steps behind the line. So typically when you're the one hitting down and the other ones are hitting up, you're usually going to win that point. And again, just keeping them back, making it very difficult to transition forward there. Yeah, I mean, generally the team that gets into the line more is probably going to win the match. And uh, that's what I feel like we've seen a lot from Simone and Lucy. Uh, sorry, Jesse and Simone here. They're uh, getting into the line practically every time, whereas Irina and Lucy might only be at more like 75% or so. I'd actually like to see the stats on that. And Simone sitting on that backhand, then going to the forehand to finish it off down the cross court at Lucy's feet. Mm -hmm. I also was wondering if maybe that second ball Simone hit might have been sailing yeah. out and Irina played it. She seems kind of hesitant on a lot of these balls where she's changing her mind on whether to hit the ball or not, which is a little bit of an issue. Never want to change your mind in this game. You're good? And that's why I think about food when I play, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Mental game from Johnny Pickleball. That's it. <laughs> Fantastic scrapping there from Swanee. Way to get to the line. Just really smart play, especially from the mid-court transition zone. You know what's interesting, Ben, in this game so far is that ball sails wide. And we take a look back at it. You know, it seems as though they're playing Simone more in this game, too. Mm, I wouldn't say that's the smartest de decision, but uh, they may just be looking for attacking Jesse and playing Simone so that Jesse's not seeing the attacks come as easily. But still, I don't really like that decision to uh, to play Simone more. And it may just be playing the angles of the ball that's necessary sometimes, of course. But yeah. Keeping playing, it neutral as much as possible. Yeah, playing the best defensive player in the game when they're trying to get to the line <laughs> is probably not usually the smartest decision. Uh, if I were them, I would definitely try to put a lot of pressure on Jesse. Basically make her play every ball and see if she'll... Uh, make a few more errors under that kind of pressure. But that's, that's just me. <laughs> yeah. 
And uh, Irina to serve here. 0 3 2 as they try to get on the board. And a big time poach. I like that aggressive play from Lucy and Irina, the drive the, and uh, poach, the shake and bake. But Simone was able to handle it and well. Great, great play there great by spot, Irina Tarashenko going back and forth with Simone Jarjim and coming out on top to get on the board here now. 1 3 2. One, three, two. Oh, it's a good read. It's a great move. It's just, again, like maybe a foot long there. It's maybe in a little more humidity or less elevation that might be going in. But yeah, I definitely need to adjust on those attacking balls. Just bring down the pace a little bit. Great transition there by Jesse and Simone. Jesse resetting the ball, taking her time, coming in, and then putting away the high ball. And again, they are now at. 4-1-1. Four, one, one. Four, one, one. And maybe possibly opening this second game up. In the top of the net there is Jesse Irvine trying to attack that ball. Not a bad attack from Jesse, but I do like that from Lucy to uh, one, one, make Jesse play the ball and force her to pull the trigger. Big shake and bake there. Simone leaving the shake, or the bake, I should say, a little high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she was looking at Jesse's form there, and Jesse looked like she was lined up for a big drive, which she was. And uh, just unfortunately, the Jesse's drive just floated a little bit high. Irina was able to get it down, which makes it more difficult for Simone to uh, capitalize on that next one. But definitely, I think the right move based on uh, Jesse's positioning in that return. And it just happened that drive went a little high. And one for one with the side out now. Irina to serve. Good dink battle Very there between nice. Lucy and Jesse. And what you may not see there is those backhands, they're slicing it pretty heavily. There's a like good amount of backspin on the ball, which is going to make the ball skid when it hits the ground. So it's tough to hang in there and not leave the ball up. Got to be perfect. I like that play from Lucy, applying some pressure, especially at Jesse, forcing her to get hit a good ball off of that drive because she knows Irina's going to be following it in right after. There's the drive again. Yeah, that ball is going to be. Point. <laughs> and they're having a little bit of a discussion here. <laughs> and uh, Simone gives them that call. She said she was uncertain. Great sportsmanship didn't, didn't there. Didn't see the ball and just gives them the call. So. Four four one. Little run here by Irina and Lucy. And they're getting these points from some shake and bake action. A little driving and closing, apply the pressure. Sometimes you'll get an error, and sometimes you'll be able to capitalize and get a, a close and an extra point from there. So I, I like the, uh, the driving strategy from them right now. There it is again. Ooh. High ball there. Here we have again Jesse and uh, Lucy going for this court. Ooh. And Lucy upset with herself on that one as she knows she was sitting on it and, mm -hmm. and had a great setup for herself yeah. there. Great decision. I like the, I like the play. Just four, four, nobody can always convert. <laughs> and there's the signals, and here we go. 4-4. Four, four. And that's going to be a point with Irina coming up short there. And she was kind of indecisive whether to dink it or to roll it. A little bit of both. But see, 5-4-1, Simone to serve. That's a beautiful play from Jesse. Uh, great ball, even uh, for midcourt. You got some uh, tough shots there, but she kept it low with some good pace. So, great play. Great exchange there. Great point by all players. Simone coming out on top. 
once again, I really liked the play from Lucy. She made a lot of great decisions and had a good ball at the end and just didn't convert the last one. And that really just shows making your opponent play one more ball can really yield a lot of points. Big serve, weak return, and uh, capitalize with a the drive there. That's always tough once you start getting those short returns in mm -hmm. there. To yeah. Maintain short, dominance. <laughs> short, short return can really uh, take the point right out of your hands. And good leave there by Irina Tarashenko. I don't know about you, Johnny, but I feel like maybe 80 to 90% of the balls they've let go are going out. Absolutely. Good call, Ben. That, that, may, that <laughs> may just be good decisions from them, but it seems to me that they've also hit some balls that are going out more so than uh, let balls go that have gone in. Or know so, thy environment. Yes, so exactly. I think that's part of it, obviously. I think that's going to be huge for a lot of players right now, which is letting balls go. Um, Maybe not such good news for me, because I don't do that very well. <laughs> I think you're going to be okay. <laughs> Hope so. Sorry, sorry. And right off the net. Unlucky. <laughs> Got to love that Slovak accent. That's it. The net cord. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't a good imitation. I'm sorry. No, I wasn't. did not do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought that counts. And that's going to be a point. I believe that's match point now for Simone at 10, and Jesse. Four, two. That's it. And here's the timeout coming. And obviously, our timeouts are brought to you by Jigsaw Health, the official hydration source of this, and the Adrenal Cocktail, Pickleball Cocktail. And going to commercial. Not today. Breaks over. You drop something. That's a wicked backhand. All right, guys, Johnny Pickleball back here at the PPA Jigsaw Health Invitational, and we have Ben Johns joining me, and here we are. Match point here for Jesse and Simone at 10-4. Uh, That's just too good from the... Uh... Simone and Jesse just taking it to him, and, and really that was a better... Fight, I would say from Irina and Lucy, but there it is, 11-3, 11-4. Jesse and Simone, it's just too solid. very dominant. It's just too solid. They put, made a lot of great balls. They got into the line most of the time. They let balls go, and they made a lot of good attacks too. It's uh, just fundamental, really solid pickleball. Absolutely, guys. And we're gonna go to commercial real quick before we get these players up here with Simone and Jesse to talk to Hannah Johns, and we'll see you in a little bit. Dorothy, I really think you'd like the magnesium. Perfect. I'd be happy to get that shipped out to you today. Thanks, Dorothy. You too. Come on! Does he do that every time? Every time.
Does she really need to be right here? I mean, come on, it really ties the room together, Rob. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, like, you know, that's your opinion, man. Irina abides. Not today. Break's over. You dropped something. That's a wicked backhand. Hi guys, we're here at the Jigsaw Health Invitational with our winner, Simone Jarjing, and uh, Jesse, Jesse, Jesse Irvine. Here we are. It's okay. I'm still learning everybody's names. <laughs> all right. Well, how cool is it, guys, that we're able to play a tournament with all these great players, even during this crazy, crazy time? I mean, I, I'm just excited to be here, uh, being able to play with different people. I never get to play. You know, we always kind of sign up to play with the same player for the year. Uh, so this was fun. Plus, we are getting to play together in like a couple weeks. So it's like, OK, this can work. So it's, I mean, it's just fun. And I get to play with Callie that I've never played with. Uh, you know, I played with Lucy and Corinne before, but never with Jesse or Callie. So I think it's just a, a really fun. Uh, honestly, I hope we do more of these because I, I am having a blast. I think like I, I think it's great. Yeah, it's really cool that we're getting to see players play with other players they've never played with before, see how the game styles match up. How are you liking that? Oh, I love it. It's a lot of fun just to be out here playing again, you know, during the whole COVID, kind of everybody being off and not being able to compete. But being out here in a competitive setting with all these great players, it's it's a lot of fun. And I, I'm just enjoying everything. All right, and ladies, what is your go-to snack during match day? Oh, I do protein bars, and of course, been doing uh, the uh, pickleball cocktail already this morning. Uh, and then later on, I'll probably do uh, the Electrolyte Supreme. Uh, and then uh, hopefully uh, the Pardos will hook us up with some really awesome lunch. I'm expecting great things. You know, after once you walk into this place, I'm, I'm expecting like a, a buffet with like the fruit, salad, everything. So, yeah. Right. No. Hopefully Connor's listening. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll probably do some fruit, some protein bars, things like that. Um, I like—I don't like to eat too much while I play. It doesn't sit well in my stomach, but I like to nibble on things throughout the day. So, right, we'll be good. awesome. Well, we're looking forward to some more matches. Uh, we'll take it back to the booth. <laughs> 